Praise the Lord. Good morning and good evening, wherever you are. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It gives us immense pleasure, as always, to stay united in the Word of God. We keep telling this. Why? Because we are members of the same body and Lord Jesus shed his precious blood uh, to deliver all of us or to deliver the mankind from all kinds of sinful deeds rather. And therefore, you know, um, a matter of respect, it's our desire and I would say it is definitely each one of our uh, responsibility to share the word of God and we all need to understand that the way how you live your life in accordance to the word of God is one aspect that will judge you and help you reaching the kingdom of heaven. But on the other hand, it's very important that what you have done with a talent or with a gift or with a potential or with a richness, I'm just giving you various parameters for your understanding. What have you done with those? For the kingdom of God and its righteousness to help your brethren, brethren to help this mankind to be a blessing to the world, to be a light to the world, is an account that you need to also give. Remember that. You may be a very good spiritual brother, very good uh, holy sister. Uh, God bless you. Please, please stay that way until the second coming or until you close your eyes in eternity. Yeah. But please remember that's only one half of the coin, I mean, one side of the coin or one half of the deeds that you can give an account about, all about. But then the other half is definitely to do with your sharing in the word, the, from the word of God, sharing the name of Jesus, sharing what is grace. And that's exactly why Jesus called us to get in these kind of online ministries where we could connect. Just start from the little leap, right? Uh, it, it, it's really costing us. We are part-time ministers in God and we're working and we also have to spend time in prayer and meditation, preparing messages and then presenting it by the grace of God. We don't care about the numbers. I keep telling you this quality matters. Jesus also, you know, lived under the same principle, 12 people he picked, but these 12 people turned the world upside down. Yeah, or down upside. The world was down and they turned, turned it upside, right? So. Quality, quantity doesn't matter. Quality matters. Therefore, we are starting with this smaller leaps, but God will definitely make it bigger. All right. So we are in the process of talking various teachings from the word of God separately. We created three separate playlists with short, interesting uh, messages where we picked topics which are genuine, right? Um, kind of, um, you know, it's common for everyone. And we picked a separate playlist where we spoke, where we are speaking from the book of Matthew, the teachings of Jesus directly to the mankind. And then the third one is the apostolic and epistolic teaching, uh, which is also something that uh, we are uh, taking it in a separate track, right? Now, this definitely belongs to the third track, that is the apostolic teaching. Yet, considering all the epistles, the letters being written to the church and um, from not only from Paul, but James, um, Peter and Titus and all of these guys. All right. Now, one such teaching we want to definitely share today and God emphasized me to uh, really, you know, the Holy Spirit inspired me strongly that I need to talk about this. It's going to be about how do we react? Yeah. When our life is getting into some sort of trials, hardships. Okay, let me take a pause here, right? Many of us don't understand these, this word trials. They mix it up with many things. Let, let us take a pause. What is the difference between worldly trials and spiritual trials? That's exactly what we are supposed to have an understanding, right? When you have clarity in this, there is nothing that can disturb you or make you backslide or make you blindfold. Today, Christendom is blindfold or they are backslidden. Because why? They are not able to draw this thick line between worldly trials and spiritual trials. There are plenty of verses from the word of God. And that's exactly what we are going to discuss. James chapter 1 verses 12 to 18. 
will be our meditation verse or words of meditation today right we will be discussing that but our style of ministering the word of god is not directly deep deep diving into the word of god before which we will like to set the context set the stage give you a lot of comprehensive understanding about what we are going to talk from the word of god that's the kind of respect we want to show to the word of god just not reading from something and then saying this is that and that is this no we are not here to do that job okay worldly trials predominantly belong to belongs to unbelievers right or people who grew in the word of god and they made a choice to dealing from the spiritual matters and associate themselves into worldly matters they do it knowingly or unknowingly is a different thing we are not getting into their conscious sins and unconscious sins i'm not getting in there but let's uh, position this discussion with uh, under the assumption that they made a choice that they would want to de-link de-associate themselves from the word of god and get into a practice of associating themselves into the worldly matters why because they couldn't bear the pressures peer pressures parental pressures uh, work pressure so many pressures so they make a choice that this is not something that i can i could manage conscious decisions or some people make this decisions unconsciously right because of the pressures they slowly move away from god and after a period of time 5 years 10 years 1 year down the line they'll see they have no connection with the word of god and they may not even some people at least they introspect they have a chance to come back but some people don't even introspect they think this is how it is they go with assumption because they are so scared to go and even introspect that they're so scared it's so terrifying for them so they don't introspect they they go on with an assumption and that's the lie of the devil and devil had already won their soul right i'm again coming from the beginning we're talking about two different trials worldly trials and spiritual trials i'm talking about worldly trials who all qualify into this worldly trials and then we will talk as god something to do, has god got something to do with this our father in heaven has got something to do with these worldly trials or not we will answer these questions one by one okay let me slow down now you understand the worldly trials predominantly belong to unbelievers who have got nothing to do with the blood of christ name of jesus holy spirit nothing nothing they may still carry the name as mark george luke and they they can they they are, they are they are atheists they may they live in germany they live in any other part of the world right the, the, the name doesn't matter we are talking about a belief system value system right how much you value god how much you value um the name of jesus from the word of god how much you have understood the messianic prophecies we have given a session on messianic prophecies 55 prophecies being fulfilled by jesus how much you understand this how much you have kept yourself associated with the spirit of god how much you have kept yourself lively in spiritual matters those people qualify into the believer category yes they go through a lot of sin sinful deeds they fall down they rise up they fall down they rise up still they are associated they reconcile they cannot de-link themselves from the word of god neither from the love of the um, father or the companionship of the holy spirit yeah it kills them it 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 pure system which is really good they are believers in christ i am not talking about those people we will come there in a, in a in a moment right but i am talking about those people who made a choice not to even listen not to even hear this name jesus because why oh no you know it's a pap and it's a hindi word you know it's a sin because why my tradition my religion taught me not to hear about any other god or goddesses because my gods are different i'm talking about such people they get into the worldly trials which is absolutely controlled managed and maintained by mr lucifer god has nothing to do with this you understand or not or you agree or not let me give you a different example right people who would want to submit themselves to alcoholic or alcoholism or alcoholic right as god anything as god got anything to do with this decision that he had got made that he had made it is absolutely his free will that's the free will which is continuing all the way from eden garden and until the end of the world right this person makes a choice person x y z no religion is coming here no doctrines philosophy nothing is coming it's a choice he makes 
now he or she getting into this alcoholic or drug addicts right it starts harming their system liver goes for a toss kidney is going missing hmm, i'm just joking right the scan report comes kidney is missing and liver is missing what it, it completely spoiled as good as like it is not there now what do you call this as i call this as a worldly trial why because you got into worldly pleasures which is a kind of a destructive uh, parameter which destructs the god made parts of your body or god made components of your body right anything and everything that leads you into destruction or you leading yourself into destruction is not from god and those consequences which are associated or linked to worldly trials which is controlled and managed by lucifer and you are children of devil jesus said that you are not the child you are not children of light you are not children of god you are your father is the father of lies in john uh, i forgot the chapter one of the chapters he says that right john 8 i think because you are your father is a liar from the beginning and you are you are belonging to you know such a father father of lies and you are the children of lies in in a, in a different tense he is saying you are all you know children of devils because the seed of the devil is in you 1 john chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 read it afterwards right if the seed of the father is in you that is me you would have accepted me and you would know who i am and from where i am coming and who is in me all these things you will read in john 8 right and these people alienated or deassociated why because this is just too much this is not what bible is telling they will misinterpret it and there are various false teachers and like wolves in in sheep clothing you know kind of um um misleading people and that's why i also considered the what category christian category also in this worldly trials uh, section why because they they think they are christians they think they are being led by the word of god they think they are being filled with the holy spirit but they are in the deception category you need to go through the serious um groups of evil spirits that lead you to deception 27 messages are being spoken that you will understand how evil spirit works in the middle of mankind christian mankind in the middle of the church i'm not talking about world right because that's a choice they make they are welcome to come and listen to this message repent and go to heaven but it's not my job to talk about those people but my job is to talk about our own fellow brothers and sisters how we are getting deceived while we still carry the bible while we still carry christian call our identify ourselves by christian names and uh, get this congregation i belong and all that you are still worshiping devil can you believe this you cannot right go and listen to those 27 sessions you will understand what it is and that is still not fully done 20 categories of evil spirits are working in groups against the christendom against the children of god okay i'm deviating coming back to the worldly trials you understand huh? then another example i will give you right believer in christ do does well but suddenly there is a pressure coming there at his workplace that he has to take bribe else he is going to be kicked out and punished by his own boss so without a choice this guy decides to safeguard his job to save himself to take that bribe and still give that bribe money to church as tight what is that called as money of blood anybody is in this business of doing that money of blood or you are practicing as a doctor in a hospital yeah the management tells yeah report it incorrectly or ask people to do unnecessary tests and uh, you know make money why because we have invested in the equipments a lot of medical people are getting into this kind of business i'm just doing my job what can i do no you should say no to it why because that's called as pressures given to us by the world you may be a software uh, person and you may want to do something else during working hours and you can still say that you know i am a believer in christ reading bible during working hours you have finished all your work yeah then you can definitely do what you want right or you have to ask your boss for more work and there is no more work given then you can understand yeah this time god wants you to use it fruitfully for his work but then when you have work you are saying no to that work and then you are getting into the business of reading bible uh, that in the middle of office ever sitting at office desk 
you know who you are? You are a person who is bound to worldly trials. And the devil will go and complain of Revelation 20, uh, 10, 20, sorry, 10, 20. Yeah, no, 12, 10. Revelation 12, 10. He's a complainer accusing the brethren day and night. He will go and accuse us. And then you are going to be falling into the worldly trials. Suddenly you will end up in a job loss or a sickness or an accident or a tragic incident. Why? When you introspect and see, you will know you are under the worldly trials being controlled and managed by Mr. Lucifer. I am saying this for the fifth time. Why? I want you to understand God has nothing to do with worldly trials. That's a choice you make. That's a choice you have made. Bluntly or boldly or, or being a meek person or being a timid person or being, being that humble brother. What to do? Huh? Self-sympathy and all that. You made the wrong choice, brother. You need to pay the price. There is no two ways about it, right? You need to pay the price. But you have a chance. You can say no to those worldly trials or the, or, or the, or the incidents that led you to worldly trials and you can come out, right? So do you understand? God has nothing to do in this category, with this category of people who are into the worldly trials because that's a choice they make out of their own free will desires. Why? Because they're not able to bear or they are so careless. Or they took the word of God so lightly. Or that much only is the level of respect they, they would pay. They got to pay attention. Why? Because I'm so busy. I have always heard many people saying, so busy. They don't even have time to listen to these kind of teachings from the word of God. You know how much it costs for us to prepare one message? At least three hours. One message. Preparing and then presenting and then taking care of all this media ministry. You think I have a big pastoral team to support me no one man doing all this job why we do it out of passion it's our duty it's our accountability it's our responsibility <laughs> and you think god is going to appreciate me oh my righteous servant come even this one is like a filthy rag before god there is no deed that can prove that we are righteous yet we get this soul satisfaction we feel that we are helping each other yeah, but I will tell you about spiritual trial in a moment. So far you are with me, the worldly trial. Your busy brother, your busy sister, no time to read the word of God. Worldly trial, you are belonging to that category. And then don't behave like, uh, you know, as if you are that uh, saintly apostle of Paul and all that. Don't make all that funny statements, right? You are like that seed falling upon the thorn or the stone, which didn't have root or getting choked because of worldly pressures. We recently did a... Um, sermon in tamil sorry about about english people who doesn't understand this language but if you are a tamilian please go through that you will understand we have explained about the seeds how what process it takes and all that and you will understand what what we have explained so you are into that worldly trial category let's move to the spiritual trial spiritual trial simple definition i'll give you it belongs to those people who have accepted the name of jesus who have accepted him and him alone as their savior and redeeming deliverer. Uh, don't, don't, no, don't keep one legs there, St. Anthony's Church and uh, and uh, St. Uh, Peter's Church and uh, St. Mary's Church. And still Jesus is also one of them. You don't belong to this category. You are still falling in worldly trail. Brother, how can you say this? We are still accepting name of Jesus. Jesus is the life, the way and the truth. He's not someone like pickle, right? You know pickle, right? Indians understand this. The main food, main course is something, but pickle I will also touch. Why? Because it adds that ah, kind of, um, you know, it gives me that uh, ability to eat more food. Ah, Jesus is not that pickle you can touch for taste. Jesus is the life, the way and the truth. And all these apostles, including Mother Mary, they lived their life for Jesus. They died for him, you know. But you are worshipping, which they never told. Where is it in the Bible? Tell me. So you belong to worldly trial, which means what? You have nothing to do with the spiritual trials or spirituality at all. You are a carnal being. You need to go through our session, carnality versus spirituality. Three episodes, 15 sessions are spoken to brothers and sisters who belong to this category. People who are Christians still, one leg there and one hand there. Right? They want both. They don't want to offend the saints. Did saints told that, uh, tell that to you in your dream? If you're not worshipping me, if you don't celebrate my birthday, death day, anniversary, this, that, you don't have a place in the kingdom of heaven, show me. Or if the dream has come, definitely it's not from God. It is from devil. 
and neither from these apostles because why once they go to paradise they have no right to come back to world in any form it is from devil about that also we have spoken in know your enemy series groups of evil spirit series you don't pay attention to all of this then god cannot save you no one can save you you are into self deception james 122 james 48 you take and read you will understand what i am saying huh? okay so now you are in the spiritual trial that is who qualifies let's talk about that then we will talk about what is spiritual trial my time is running like anything i have so much to share pray god that the clock worldly clock should stop the moment i start preaching yeah i really need that prayer <laughs> why i have time but people are not patient to listen no one hour message one hour itself is too short to preach a word like this you know it's not a, it's not tough you know how much time i spending i'm spending and all you know it's pleasure right it it overwhelms it overflows it's such a joyous occasion to talk about the word of god one hour is just not enough for me what to do word of god is so detailed and nice it's not interesting nice for your life it helps you don't you want to reach heaven then don't count your time here on earth let's come back here spiritual trials who all qualify right whoever have accepted jesus and him alone and understood the messianic prophecies the laws and commandments that jesus fulfilled through his living how much it cost him ra right? spiritual suffering carnal suffering truth about the cross series carnality versus spirituality if you cannot listen to both of these which has bulky sessions right you are that busy brother and busy sister no at least go and listen to that one message where i've given how jesus fulfilled messianic prophecies and the laws and commandments how he was abiding to it being that humble servant of god he didn't behave like son of god he didn't use any of those powers it cost him so much that he shed his precious blood to purchase you and i for a price 1 Corinthians 6:20, 1 Peter 1:19, 1 Peter 3:18, Hebrews 2:18. Who will read all this? Are you are you kidding with me? Or you are you having some fun with Jesus? That you want to go to this church and that church and worship this saint and that saint and Jesus is one of those. Who told you this? Blasphemy it is. Hypocrites you are. Sorry, if I don't tell you now. the devil will tell you in the lake of fire this is the reason why you are burning now let me tell this up front catholic sisters and brothers offended huh? you are talking to a, or you are listening to a catholic brother 18 years i was there i had been everywhere huh? so don't look at me that way huh? with a wink in your eyes or anger in your eyes no i'm part of you then god pulled me out 26 years i have gone and traveled almost all the congregation pentecost marthoma csi catholic anywhere you call me i was there my journey is so big 40 plus years i have seen enough so i am telling you not out of experience but out of love don't call me as that brother who is full of age and all that no no wisdom nothing right i am just telling you the truth jesus is the life the way and the truth have you accepted that having said no to anything else no adultery no bad habits uh, no addictions no pornography no alcoholic nothing you are living your life in purity as a role model in faith love and purity 1 timothy 4:12 yet you are falling down but you have every desire to rise up reconcile saying no to that sin hate sin not repeating sins in the name of regret no in the name of repentance you are saying no to the sin but another type of sin will come that is that is life flesh will always have war with spirit carnality versus spirituality serious all this is covered so don't worry about different types of sins until your last breath you will have war with this flesh that is different but you have the desire to stand for jesus to fight for god not to step back in your ministerial activities you are a missionary you are a evangelist or you are a working professional and it's yet giving lot of um, you know aids to the poor you, you are all belonging to the spiritual trial category now i have not yet come to spiritual trial what is this who qualifies is what i'm talking you are all qualifying including me we are all qualifying and it's a privilege brothers and sister james chapter 1 verse 2 is the is this verse called it belongs to you and me whoever qualifies under the spiritual trial category my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing 
this these three words words of god belongs to you and me and it's a privilege now one important question immediately it would have already started ringing why is spiritual trial for me brother am i not doing the right thing am i like that worldly trial fellow am i behind that drug addict addiction or alcoholic or prostitution or flirting or fornication nothing i am so clean you are like that rich young young ruler and jesus loved that rich young ruler he did not hate him with love he looked at him and he said one thing you lack why because that one thing can drag you into lake of fire better do that and come because i love you so much right we all have that shortcomings all of us have fallen short of glory therefore don't take that pride i am not like that brother who is under the worldly trial you are a pharisee you have the spirit of pharisee if you are comparing yourself with worldly trial number 1 point number 1 number 2 is spiritual life is all about suffering ah what is this you can't ask this what is this question to me just now i read the verse no james chapter 1 verses 2 3 4 you lack nothing nothing of what you lack nothing of the spiritual gifts you lack nothing in terms of spiritual fruits galatians 5 22 23 joy love peace patience can you go to market and purchase 100 grams and 1 kg and 2 kgs of joy love peace respectively no money cannot buy this and your deeds righteous deeds cannot buy this suffering will buy this through suffering what i gain what is this life why am i supposed to go through the spiritual trial same question jesus also had i think why he went through all that suffering have you ever understood that uh, or uh, asked that question to find an answer tell me why did jesus go through all that suffering getting insulted getting nudged uh, uh, getting snatched uh, getting uh, smitten uh, spiritually harassed emotionally harassed physically harassed abused hanging naked on the cross why 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 tell me does he deserve for all of that son of god living his life without blemish i gave you all the verses already 1 peter 119 318 and uh, hebrews 218 1 corinthians 620 1 john 17 to 10 all these verses justify he doesn't deserve for that spiritual trial yet he was wet bruised why isaiah 53 5 for our sake that we need not carry any of these sufferings on us and we will be redeemed right now it's a paradoxic statement you are telling i need to go through all the suffering at the same time you are giving me a quote that uh, jesus carried all that on himself that i and you need not go through paradoxic no contradicting i will explain that in a moment right number one is jesus submitted himself as a role model that you and i also need to suffer if you are following me take the cross that verse also jesus told right take the cross take the cross means what each one of us will have one one cross uh, your wife itself will be a cross your husband will be a cross your daughter will be a cross your son will be a cross they will never be submitting to you but you still need to live with them long suffering fruit of the holy spirit long suffering patience will be fulfilled through that cross i am giving examples hmm? what you benefit is slowly we are getting through the spiritual trials you benefit a lot we are going to see that and i don't know how i am going to cover all that in the next 30 minutes right you will benefit a lot and we are going to see that right spiritual trial is for your benefit don't look at it as oh suffering look at the servant hmm? what a big cross i am not able to carry i will tell you 1 corinthians 10:13 that's a lie of the devil to convince you that you are not able to carry oh why this why me people will ask this question no this youngsters especially why me why me alone the spiritually grown brothers and sisters uh, the why me alone all this time it's not you alone it's not you um, i mean to say he will not allow anything that more than what you could bear or carry 1 corinthians 10 13 and he will make a way for you to escape he will help you to bear it he will give you the grace the same thing was with paul also right why paul should go through that sickness in his eyes you all know right the thorn in the flesh means many people have various interpretation it was a eye disease and eyes are very important no how will you write letters if that pus is oozing all the time it is watering and red uh, rose or i mean pink eyes all the time right he had a big problem yet i think while he was writing the letters the, that will stop immediately then again it will come why to keep him humble sometimes god will allow such these things only god knew 
i cannot speak for god only god knows and he will not reveal the reason also sometimes just accept it keep moving that's christ uh, i mean that is christ uh, led life or the spirit filled life if you have if you are leading the life according to the desires of christ sufferings you cannot ask reasons you don't know the reasons also but i will tell you the benefit there is just one benefit you know what beloved you will become light to the world you will become a role model to the world a role model of faith love and purity in the midst of sufferings why john 14 127 says in this world there is full of troubles the world is filled with troubles because the ruler of the world is devil what good can you expect destructions will happen but amidst of this destructions you will stand strong in the midst of the spiritual trials why you are the target to the devil look i'm condensing 27 sessions into 30 minutes this is what i have spoken in know your enemy 23 sessions sorry 23 hours material i'm condensing into 30 minutes what can i do this is the best i can do right you have to go through those spiritual trials for two reasons number one you are the light to the world you will be a role model and other people will learn from you how to withstand how to fight against the wiles of the devil amidst of being very spiritual following jesus there is no blemish in you yet you have to go through the suffering and through suffering second benefit is you will build your quality of spiritual life such as the fruits i will tell you example i will tell you right i told you already if no suffering is allowed how your patience will grow how your self control will grow the lord of temptations god will permit to test the quality to refine you as gold as job said right you have refined me as gold by permitting these temptations because there was one thing in the heart of job that is another series we are doing now book of job we are doing that job had that little pride job had that little lot of fear and pride in his heart L- lot of fear and little pride that yeah he is self he is having that justification of self righteousness and at the same time he had that fear what i feared came on me job chapter 3 you can take and read it came on me he said the last verse in job chapter 3 he was always fearful spirit of fear is not from god second timothy 17 how can you be out of all these things these are all like you know uh, like scar the, the obstacles hurdles right in front of you planted by mr devil and in your spiritual walk without these trials you won't be able to understand what these hurdles are first of all for you to look at the hurdle you need to go through the suffering then only you will understand these are emerging as hurdle and you need to jump over or kick it out and come out of it get rid overcome our jesus is rewarder of faith and overcomers only can inherit in the kingdom of heaven revelation 321 hebrews 116 i'm giving all these verses to justify the trials that you go through in the midst of your spiritual life in midst of your spiritual being your values are completely your the values of your life uh, the value system or the priorities are definitely associated with spiritual life but yet i have trials yet i have difficulties yet i have shortcomings yet i have um, this problem that difficulty everybody are coming to wage war with me yeah when i go into office all of them are ready to fight with me why brother because <laughs> you are the child of god and never ever discount suffering but i will tell you something you are not going to live in suffering and die in suffering you will overcome in style by the power of god all these people who hate you will become your disciples one day that's what happened with jesus his own brother james who grew along with him did not believe until his resurrection and after that he became his disciple and at some point of time he was the leader of that synagogue he was the leader of the christian congregation and even peter consulted him during a dispute all this is historical right now the point here is what i'm trying to say is you are going to be the limelight to the world as a role model people will learn from you and you will be able to share jesus through your sufferings how point number 2 as a overcomer and number 3 is being the role model as an overcomer it will build your spiritual quality and it will help you to get refined as pure as gold pure gold not without suffering if gold will not go through this process yeah it, it looks like garbage have you seen that golden ore garbage one ton garbage after it is going through this chemical treatments and process and burnt uh, in the fire and all treated 1 gram gold you will get 1 ton versus 1 gram what is it you understand huh? 
this world is full of garbage we are living in that one ton garbage and you want to refine be refined and glitter like that 8 gram gold you need to go through this burning process chemical treatments sufferings trials struggles hardships yet you will be able to overcome why because the power of jesus is there resurrection power of jesus holy spirit will lead us yeah angels are there to help us 36 minutes gone already i hope you are able to understand no i took just one word trial i hope you are reading bible this way i'm not talking some stories i'm talking about you and me only from the word of god i've already given you so many words of god, references now i'm going to give you more in the remaining 25 minutes we'll close on time don't worry i won't eat up your time more than what it is needed okay now can we read the word of god and then i will talk about something else right are you all with me so far You're not sleeping right i'm reading couple of bible verses not from our meditation verse james chapter 1 verses 12 to 18 is our meditation verse and i have given it as a uh, i mean i given some verses as a four test from james chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 and i have also explained you who falls under world trial worldly trials and spiritual trials right and they, they two don't have any connection these two are two different category of people and there are only two groups of people according to me according to bible i would say uh, those who accept christ being led by holy spirit those who don't accept christ and they are not being led by holy spirit nothing they may be christians also who fall in the worldly trials category explained well explained and well understood is what i believe if you have not understood rewrite the tape come from the beginning again if you have questions type that uh, uh, comment or mail us right or subscribe to our channel there are many other materials which will clarify this question yeah you have an answer in my channel itself okay ephesians chapter 2 uh, verses 1 to 3 right you need to understand what is the carnal nature of human anatomy carnal nature of human system i'm going to give you four five verses and then we will go back to our meditation verse you will completely understand it's my responsibility to help you understand what it is to love god what it is to love god under trials already half the matter is covered i am sure you will understand this three benefits i gave you uh, i am sure if you want you rewind okay no time uh, and you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience among whom also we all once conducted ourselves the lusts of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by the nature children of wrath just as others who once once means once upon a time you were very submissive and disobedient um not obeying the word of god not abiding in the laws and commandments of god and you submitted yourself to the lust of the flesh desires of your flesh and mind mind now you are a renewed person romans 12 1 to 2 renewal of mind transformation of spirit you you don't want to be led by the conformities conform to the worldly related matters and you have made a choice to follow jesus now you are the children of light understand but once upon a time you had that problem all the trespasses you had sinful deeds you had and all that now you understand again it's connected to worldly trials sins of the past spiritual trials no sins of the future it is a sufferings for the name of jesus and i have explained that clearly why you should suffer without suffering there is no there is no result right the the golden ore should go through the suffering treatment if the golden ore says no i like to live in as a garbage no i love this stench i love that uh, smell garbage smell uh, why why i have to glitter one ton quantity is more one gram only gold no i don't want to become that gold if gold says that it will live as a garbage right we will live as garbage in this world which is being controlled and ruled by mr devil until the second coming of jesus that's a choice you need to make and choice is yours god is not saying anything he is explaining so clearly no you want to live as a glittering gold 1 gram quantity is very less huh? but cost is more the money you pay for 1 gram gold is more or you want to go and purchase one ton garbage people will give it for free you take and store it in your home you are helping the government they also don't know where to throw the garbage you go and do that social service no money free freely you will get garbage but gold you won't get 
that is what you need to decide you it, it needs to cost you something abraham said no i don't want this land take this money yet then you will say you made abraham rich no all glory should go to god and nothing and david said i will buy this land by paying price because no good comes without costing anything something like that he said not exactly this but something like this therefore no spiritual deeds can come in you without costing you nothing it should cost you that suffering but through it all you are the limelight to the world you are light to the world and you are also light to yourself and you are leading yourself in that narrow path which takes you towards heaven yeah that's a choice you need to make quantity or quality costly gold or cost free garbage you decide cost free garbage world worldly matters worldly trials go live there and die there and go to hell i'm not saying that revelation 22 11 says what those who are filthy let them be more filthy and go to hell that's what it means in the last book last words last chapter he has written that why even after reading 66 books you want to make a choice to live in garbage go <laughs> you see how irritated god is if god gets irritated who can save you in this world tell me romans 8 7 because the carnal mind is enmity against god for it is not subject to the law of god nor indeed can be you understand i told you something no always this flesh will wage war with spirit until your last breath i tell this again and again will it be there until i am 60 50 10 years if i am there in church will it go away it will not go away anywhere why you are living in the world and the ruler of the world is devil no you can't live here 10 years and take a rocket and fly to pluto or mars people are planning some trips you know what crazy people they have also bought land and moon it seems if disaster happens here they have prepared a flight or a rocket which will take these people and they have registered their land in in moon crazy right but they have not discovered water in moon how they will live is a different thing but they want to escape this disaster that's also again mentioned in revelation they will not be able to meet that day that fear fearful and fiery day of fiery from god when jesus comes they think they can take the rocket while coming on well the rocket will see jesus and it will die there it will blast no one can escape from that ferocious day of god <laughs> be careful right crazy people why i'm saying this is the enmity will be with god to escape loopholes and all that right the law makers don't follow the law have you noticed the law makers are the people who rule the government but have you seen anybody any law makers spending time in jail no why because they will find they will uh, while creating the law only they will create it with loopholes and that loopholes will be visible only in their eyes why because they are children of devil what else that's why jesus was so irritated you are children of those of, of the father of lies you are following him liars are you blasphemers hypocrites matthew 23 you take and read if you are believer in that angle in that line uh, thinking that you are go you are so spiritual and still with that worldly trial category take and read matthew 23 and take those words seriously jesus used all sorts of bad words and no with without without unparliamentary language <laughs> you understand huh? he didn't use any bad words but it's as good as it's, it's even worse than the bad words just take and read white wash to brood of vipers come here uh, your your father is father of lies children of devil this is how he used that language so what i'm trying to say here is your carnal mind will have enmity with god which means your flesh will have war with the spirit why flesh will still have that atomic sin ruling why atomic sin is not removed but you can overcome by the help of jesus name of jesus blood of jesus power of the holy spirit resurrection power of christ and he intercedes for you who intercedes for jesus and holy spirit our companion he also prays with us with a groaning spirit grieve every time you get into the spiritual trial and suffering you think that is heaven is merrying and celebrating some parties no they will cry and the father will stipulate the trial second corinthians 4 17 and 18 take and read there is a limit for the trial it's not forever but that trial will get over another trial will come but all of these he will make a way for you to escape he will help you to overcome and all these things will be written in book of life and book of remembrance now don't ask me what is book of remembrance you take and read your bible it is there okay just to tell help you the most spectacular events 
<laughs> will be captured in the guinness book of records like that spectacular events in the life of this believer how he overcame in style will be recorded there in book of remembrance and that is a special book for jesus he will come with that book to witness to welcome when you go there for some believers jesus himself will get out of his throne and welcome with the book of remembrance wow spectacular events for paul i'm sure he would have got out of all disciples right he would have got out of his throne they all died they were beheaded crucified upside down they were dragged like a dog tied in behind the chariots andrew i think andrew or james i don't know huh? they were torn into pieces such people he will come down no i don't mean to say you should die as blood witness and only he will come down no live your life blameless like job be honest bear long suffering patience you understand huh? but all this happens in this world and i will tell you there will be a great war between your flesh and spirit and the evil spirit will convince you what you are going through is useless nonsense rubbish is this called as christian life no it's about prosperity materialistic preachers will come and convince you and then what happens you will say no to all of this and you will get into a different track now you are a worldly person so called spiritual believer but worldly person you understand huh? for it is not subject to the law of god romans 8 7 nor indeed can be why you made a different uh, track that track takes you towards hell and that has no quality of god no spiritual desires for god you are with me matthew 16:24 one last verse and then we will go to our meditation verse matthew 16:24 then jesus said to his disciples if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me this is what i was quoting but i forgot the words right what it means is take up the cross means don't be timid don't be that don't be that um, uh, covered brother or sister don't be that meek fellow huh how am i going to carry the cross you better decide to carry the cross else you don't have place in heaven why you you are not a overcomer how are you going to justify your faith in christ tell me without suffering i told you the same example right if gold tells golden ore that garbage tells no i refuse to become gold that 1 1 gram gold it's still gold only but it's hidden as 1 gram in that 1 ton garbage right god sees that spiritual desire that hunger in you but that's like 1 gram to get that best out of you you need to go through that process and that's why carrying cross is important that's nothing but chemical treatment that is nothing but burning in fire gold will have to go through all these treatments then finally it is hanging in that nice showcase in the jewelry shop and then you swipe that credit card you will pay a lakh rupee indian rupees i am saying you have to buy that gold <laughs> but it was stinking like a garbage many years ago or many few many days ago this is the world will look at you and they will learn from you and you will be able to lead people as a role model i have seen many spiritual fellows talking like you know saints and philosophers and theologians and etc no experience no testimony in life and such messages will never take you to heaven nor your followers nor your listeners jesus and paul said follow me why because there is so much of testimony witnessing uh, events testimony they had to suffer and then lead other people only then it is considered in heaven now don't ask me why like that no you can ask in that question in one place but it will be too late what that place is you know the answer it's it's lake of fire so if you don't ask that question here or there you will not get an answer that is the law and i have explained you to the possible extent why it is made as a law by god and god when he makes a law law maker is not like our politicians law maker with a loophole where he can escape no he sent his only son to live according to that law it cost him so much he is lived as a role model therefore he is asking you better live like jesus my son who suffered himself all of these to become a lime light to the world to lead other people as examples right by examples as role model and plus only if you go through that you will be able to fulfill the fruits of the holy spirit else you will never have that fruit yeah without suffering how can you have the fruit without plant without sowing the seed watering it manuring it and waiting for the harvest time and all that looking at the seed hey seed give me the fruit 
you think the seed will seed itself will come out and slap you and go and <laughs> become a seed again seed itself will get irritated are you kidding me that you have not even sown me you have not watered you have not given me time you have not treated me well with manure not protected me with wild from fencing and wild beasts will come and eat me and suddenly you are saying fruit come out what you are not god that i should honor get lost this is what seed will tell <laughs> i'm trying to be a little humorous and also being very practical understand huh? take up the cross and follow me jesus said deny yourself to the worldly related matters or worldly pleasures and don't be a person who go through worldly trials if you are going through worldly trials who are you you are a sinner first of all say no to that come to a spiritual believer and then you lead people and i will tell you what there is very less percentage of people who are in the spiritual trial category now i am not talking about unbelievers i am talking about believers why only believers can qualify in the spiritual trial category and in that also very small percentage have that endurance capability to be consistent one verse i will read for you right why they are not consistent if any of you lack wisdom no sorry um okay verse number 7 james 1 7 for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the lord he is a double minded unstable in all his ways you know who that guy is spiritually he came and tried he didn't work out he went back to worldly pleasures that fellow's end is worse than what it was before jesus explained that through a parable one guy who repents and come back to god seven other evil spirits comes and the end result is you are number one target when you have said no to the worldly pleasures and coming to god number one target you got to walk in diligence watch and pray lest you may enter into temptation 2641 matthew deny yourself deny yourself the self should die by saying all that am i trying to tell that you will be a sick person you will be a lame person you will lose your eyes you will lose your job you will become the dirty fellow no you will be still that number one rich person you will be still that prominent person you will be still that rich brother who will earn a lot in the midst of your sufferings why because you will keep overcoming all these victorious deeds will be accounted in the book of life and god will not let you down why because he is faithful he said that i am that i am i am the life the way and the truth i will help you i will care for you 1 peter 5 7 and um um hebrews 13 5 6 i will never leave you nor forsake you i am the god who is your helper i am the unchanging god who is the same yesterday today and forevermore as how he had helped you to overcome that sickness he will also help you to overcome the struggle at your workplace as how he had helped to overcome the uh, struggle at your workplace he will also help you to overcome the struggle hardship in your family the problems in your family but circumstances are different trials are different types different style different nature but god is one unchanging god understood huh? that's why he says deny all your doubts double minded wavery mindset james 48 and 122 taken read afterwards huh? don't uh, purify and cleanse your heart it, it is commandment james 48 purify your heart cleanse your heart through the word of god submitting yourself introspecting yourself renewal of mind romans 12:12 renewal of mind therefore you will be an overcomer therefore you will get reward for your faith therefore you will get inheritance in the throne of god revelation 321 all this i told this many times in the same session why it should register in your mind and it's not coming for free hmm? hebrews 13:5 already told you let your conduct be without covetousness be content with such things as you have coveting he will he will make you to fall in lust i'm talking about spiritual trials only now worldly trials topic closed we are we don't talk about unbelievers forget them we are talking about us yeah you will go through that kind of scenarios temptations will pull you magnetic pull but don't be scared don't be scared let your heart not be troubled jesus said this man believe john 14 1 john 16 33 as how i have overcome the world you will be able to overcome i will help you being your intercessor praying for you don't worry you believe in you don't believe in your prayer but at least can you believe in the prayer of jesus christ our lord no you don't believe in his prayer also then you are in the worldly trial category you are not in spiritual trial why faith is everything brother you don't believe in yourself believe in holy spirit believe in blood of jesus believe in the name of jesus believe jesus is there sitting as your brother elder brother praying for you day and night and you think father won't listen no how will he look at jesus all scars over his body no 
wounds would have got healed scars full scars from the crown of the head to the bottom of sole of the foot looking at that you think father will say no my son wait no something like that nothing doing immediately sanctioned done what it cost for jesus only father knows the hurt how much it cost for him and all his prayers will be answered so believe in jesus have faith okay my time is almost up now i will read james chapter meditation verse you see last 5 minutes i am reading it for you this is the way you should read bible now i am this itself is like a role model huh? spiritual trial it cost me so much but i am gaining your soul <laughs> yeah you are my brother you are my sister okay james chapter 1 verses 12 to 18 i will read slowly and we will close the session okay blessed is the man who endures temptation we read a lot no who will endure temptation spiritual trial category for when he has been proved he will receive the crown of life i told you revelation 321 inheritance in his throne birthright you will get crown of life and i will read one verse quickly for you revelation 22 to 14 quickly blessed are those who do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city who will enter you will enter if you are following according to the laws and commandments and he will now coming back here verse 12 james 112 will receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to those who love him love means love him means what john 1421 take and read those who love him will follow his commandments and laws abide in his commandments and laws no don't ask me what is his, what are his commandments and laws 1050 laws and commandments in new testament alone it is there you all have eyes no you all have computers no sit and google it you will get verse number 13 let no one say when he is tempted i am tempted by god for god cannot be tempted by evil nor does he himself tempt anyone that's what i covered in worldly trials god has nothing to do with that i told you right 30 minutes i have explained to you i mean it's not me holy spirit spoke to you and that's what is this verse 13 now you are understanding huh? see this is how you should read bible i repeat it again you first research no nicely research from practical terms verse 14 but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed that examples were also given within the worldly trial category you i hope you listened and understood it is your choice you are pressing the button worldly pleasure worldly trial path to hell burning in lake of fire all four buttons you press at the same time even god cannot save you even devil cannot save you <laughs> even you yourself cannot save yourself be very careful brothers it's not a joke verse 15 james 115 then when desire has conceived it gives birth to sin and sin when it is fully grown brings forth death why roman 623 for the wages of sin is death when you made a choice to be part of worldly pleasure death is assured a spiritual death first and then physical death finished is this the reason why you are living your life verse 16 do not be deceived my beloved brethren this is a commandment do not be deceived keep yourself away from self deception again he mentions in james 4:8 huh do not be double minded purify cleanse your heart and draw nearer to god he will draw nearer to you you double minded 122 says that be the doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourself about deception two verses i gave you already in the same book of james it can't be more clearer or simpler than this you understood huh? don't understand then please comment i will explain you separately verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights who god with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning number 18 verse 18 of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth whatever we are speaking for the last one hour are the words of truth that he might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures who will be the first fruit tell me those who reap joy through suffering ha huh? yet they will be overcomers yes they will be veterans yes they will be victors yes they have nothing to lose see it makes sound today when you go through the spiritual trials oh this loss happened that sickness came and all that you will come out victoriously in style but when you look at your accomplishments during the trial period wonderful it will be you will thank god for what he has permitted like how jesus thanked on the cross 
you all think uh, it is finished oh so sadly he told during lent days especially they will talk so sadly no no he told that happily the most happiest moment for jesus was those three words when he spoke on cross it is finished with joy he said and he, he exclaimed bible says no with a loud voice he told that's a voice of cherishing i'm telling you why all that he suffered is able to see the benefit is able to see the fruits why he himself is the first fruit and whoever follows him will be the first fruit like how abel abel gave that first first fruit means the um, this thing sheep the best of the sheep we are the best of the god's creation you don't want to be the first fruit huh? the best when the harvest happens what first fruits they will take best and they will export i have not even see the first first fruits i'm living in india to see this first fruit i have seen that in germany spain and us and all the other places when i travel there but here i couldn't see <laughs> similarly you won't be able to understand who you are but when you go to heaven you will understand the value of who you were all right with this we will close heads bow down eyes closed heavenly father thank you for this beautiful session helping us to understand what it is to love god and the trials and helping us to discriminate between worldly trials and spiritual trials help all of us god give us the strength to bear give us the way, make us the way to escape lord and you are faithful god you are good god we believe in you in jesus name we pray amen god bless you stay tuned subscribe to our channel any questions feedback give comment it there or whatsapp us double nine zero double two one two one five two or email it to us Jesus name we bless you amen